Hi everyone, my name is Nikita Machado and welcome to my channel. Today's video is such a special one. I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own balloon hula hoop wreath so you can use it as a prop for your very own Mother's Day photo shoot at home. For those of you who know me, you'll know I just became a mom three months ago and this year is my very first Mother's Day. But like most of you, I'm going to be stuck at home. Don't worry, I'm going to be showing you how to get the most beautiful photos so you'll have something to look back on and cherish even if you're stuck at home for Mother's Day. I am so happy with the way this balloon wreath turned out. It looks absolutely stunning and the photos are truly gorgeous. I can't wait to show you how to make it. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is a hula hoop. And if you're a mom, you probably have at least one of these laying around at home somewhere. They are available at the dollar store for about $2. However, I got mine from Walmart because they had a slightly bigger size. And because we're going to be adding a lot of balloons, I wanted to make sure there was still a fair amount of space so there would be a lot of room to get in there with your cute kitties and get some really nice clear photos. The second item you're going to need is jute. I found jute cord at the dollar store for $4 and I only needed one roll of this. The next item is, of course, balloons. For mine, I decided just to go with white. I used 17 balloons for my hula hoop, but like I said, I did have a larger one. If you have a smaller hula hoop, you may end up using less, or if you want to go crazy and have even more of a full look than I did, you may need more. The next item we're going to be using is artificial flowers. I picked up this bouquet at the dollar store for $3 and for this project I only needed one bouquet of flowers. You're also going to need some string. I used white string. You can use any color string that you like. You can use a brown string um, to match the jute more, but I used white because that's what I had. Another thing you're going to need is double-sided tape, which you can also find at the dollar store or at Walmart. You are going to need a few other small things including a glue gun and glue sticks, scissors, a balloon pump, and command hooks, which is what we're going to use to suspend the wreath from the ceiling. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your hula hoop and tie a really simple knot at the top, and then start wrapping the jute tightly around the hula hoop want to make sure this is really tight. You're going to continue wrapping your jute all the way around the hula hoop until you get to the very end. So while I was doing this, after I got almost a quarter of the way, I realized that it was just too much work for me to keep wrapping that huge bundle of jute around the hula hoop. So what I did was I just cut a section of it and wrapped it around the hula hoop until I got to the end, tied another knot, and then started over again with another piece of jute. Um, 
doing it in little sections. What I also found while I was doing this that it was just easier to maybe do three wraps and then pull really tight and push up. Um, I found it went a lot faster that way, so that's what I started doing towards the end. Guys, if you like this video so far, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so you can see more content from me like this. Now here I am finally at the end and what I'm going to do is take my glue gun and just glue these little end pieces directly to the hula hoop so they're nice and secure and then cut off any excess and the other little excess pieces of G2C around the hula hoop, those are going to get cut off at the end as well. This is what it looks like so far. Also, you'll notice that this jute is kind of messy. Little pieces kept falling off, so just keep that in mind when you're doing this project. Pick an area of your house where you don't mind having to vacuum or clean up afterwards. start off with the biggest size balloons you want on your roof, which is not going to be that big. Um, I would recommend blowing one up and then putting it against the hula hoop to see if it's a good size. Once you've decided on the biggest size that you want on your hula hoop, you're going to tie that balloon in a knot and then blow up a second balloon the same size. Take the tail of the second balloon and instead of tying it off, you are going to wrap the tail of the second balloon around the tail of the first balloon and tie it in a knot so they're joined together. And this part is a little tricky, uh, but you only have to do it a few times, so don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Next, you're going to do a slightly smaller pair of balloons. So go ahead and blow up those balloons and you're going to attach them together the same way. Tying off the first balloon and then when you get to the second balloon, take the tail of that second balloon and tie it around the first balloon and join them together. And then take a piece of string to attach the balloons to the string, you're just simply going to take the string and loop it around the balloons. You can tie it in a knot if you want to make it extra secure um, and do that for all the pairs of balloons that you have, starting with the biggest in the middle. Secure it in place with some extra pieces of string. And then I started to fill in the hoop with more balloons so it looked more full. And I did this by just tying a piece of string to the end of the new balloon that I was adding in and then using that string to secure it to the hula hoop. Once you've done that, you can use a piece of double-sided tape to position the balloon where you want it to lay. 
So for this, you do need double-sided tape. Just using regular tape and doing like the loop-de-loop -loop and sticking it on won't hold. Um, so definitely for that part, you do need the double-sided tape. Once you have the balloons set up how you want it to look, then you're gonna start adding in the flowers. Just get a really good pair of scissors, snip the ends, and bend it back and forth until it pops off. Now be careful because the end of the flowers, once the wire is exposed, is really sharp. So what I did was just wrapped a piece of regular tape around the ends. And what you're going to do, kind of curve the end of the stem so it makes a hook and wrap that around a hula hoop and then secure it in, a, in place with another piece of jute. For the few flowers I put in the middle, I just left a longer stem and just stuck it in between the balloons and it stayed fairly well. So even though this already looks so good, we're not done yet. Now it's time for the wow factor. What really takes this to the next level is when this is suspended from the ceiling and it's just hanging there. It looks so pretty. It just makes the perfect frame for a cute little photo shoot, especially with your little babies. So what you're going to do to suspend your hula hoop from the ceiling is attach your command hooks to the ceiling, then take a long piece of string and tie it to either end of the hula hoop. Then use the loop to hang the wreath from the command hooks. So there you have it guys, your very own balloon hula hoop wreath to use for your next photo shoot pop. If you want a closer look at how these photos came out, check out my Instagram at Nikita Machado and don't forget to follow me. So, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope I was able to give you an idea to make your Mother's Day even more special than it's already going to be. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and like this video so I know to keep creating more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.